How's it going? Bizarro here with Test Subjects, and today we're going to be turning uh, this little tiny miniature arcade cabinet into a puzzle box. So step one with this thing is going to be figuring out how to do a teardown and get inside of here and move all the components, because um, they usually have some sort of screws. Like, there's visible ones on the back here, but there's usually some hidden under the stickers. So I'm going to peel off all these stickers uh, and find where they've hidden all the juicy, tasty, candy coated crunchy peanut bits that lets you open the thing up. So I'm going to do that, uh, kind of take it apart, and then we'll just start digging into it. So I've gutted uh, a lot of the electronics out of this thing. This is a little video screen here uh, that I'm going to keep for other projects. A little tiny video screen here. Uh, this was the board it was connected to, the you know interface board here. Here was a little like a power button to turn everything off and on like that. Here was your sound speaker, here was your uh, volume control, and here was your um, headphone jack. So all of this stuff, don't need. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to dremel off the uh, little tabs here, this little flashing area, so this will fit up inside of this guy here, uh, but can come out because we're going to put a magnet on the back side here. Uh, then I'm going to grind that little bump down and we're going to glue a magnet onto that guy. So now this has been uh, ground down uh, right here, uh, and I have also uh, put a magnet on the bottom of that right there. And this is one of those uh, little tiny uh, ring magnets that you can get. I uh, get these at Home Depot. Lowe's used to carry uh, neodymium, neodymium, however you pronounce it, uh, but they don't anymore. So if I need to grab some of these quick, uh, I can find little tiny strong magnets at Home Depot. And I tend a little thing, I tend to keep them in this little case here. Uh, it kind of kind of keeps them shielded from the outside world. And it travels easily as well, but I will say when you have this much magnets, this much magnets? This much magnetism in one spot, uh, when you open this thing up, sometimes they can all <clears throat> kind of attack. So uh, be careful with that. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place this uh, magnet here on the bottom of this. And we're going to glue this and stick it down inside of here, into this tray, and uh, hopefully I won't glue the magnets together, because that's happened before. So now we got this cool little uh, little action. It, it still moves a little bit, uh, but what's going to happen, this is going to be the key to open up the box, uh, and so people have to discover that this pops up like that, which is kind of neat. Uh, so that just locks in place right there. And uh, what does it unlock, you ask? I'll show you. So what this is going to be used for is uh, these things here. This is a uh, child safety lock that goes on cabinets here. Uh, and they're actually pretty interesting. Uh, what uh, The way these work is when a magnet gets close to them, they open up like this. Like that. See? It doesn't take much. I don't have to touch this thing for that to go in. It's like a little dinosaur. Look. Anyway, uh, so that's what's uh, going to be inside of the little cabinet box there. Uh, and normally, uh, the way this is for, you have this little uh, little ridge here that it hooks onto. This will come out and hook onto uh, this thing like this. And then when you hit the magnet, it kicks in and you can slide it out like that. So that is why uh, this thing uh, has a magnet on it. And I'm going to mount these inside of the box. So as you can see, I got this inside of here. Uh, I got this lined up uh, inside of there like that. And uh, if uh, this, I'm going to put hinges on the inside of this box. On this inside, I haven't done it yet, but uh, so now this thing will not be able to open. It'll open a little bit because you have to have a little bit of play, you have to have a little bit of give. Uh, but when I take uh, the magnet key here off of this, so you'll have this come over here. Click that, it opens up like that, and then the box will open, and inside will be something. All right, so now as you can see here, uh, the the child lock has been put in place, uh, as well as these hinges here. So uh, right now the box will not open until you remove this, uh, and you know, I already showed you all this, but uh, this now opens up from here. This will all be cleaned up and painted and everything like that. Um, and uh, the next thing that has to be done is the sides of the uh, sides of the, the, the cabinet here uh, go, that go on the side of this thing. This one's going to be permanently affixed. I'm going to take and I'm going to screw and glue this one down so it stays. Uh, what this is going to do is it's going to prevent a couple things. One, it's going to prevent people from being able to like wrench this thing up and out like this, get 
it'll also prevent them from getting a really good grip on it uh, and just forcing it open uh, in some weird, stupid way. Because as we all know, people do stupid things in escape rooms. So uh, the other side, uh, this one here is going to be attached magnetically. Uh, I've already uh, cut a groove out of the thing here. Uh, as you can see, and that's for these hinges that had to stick out the side. Uh, that was one issue, was trying to figure out how to get this thing to open without buying specialty hinges. So, much like a normal box, uh, I just stuck the hinges out the side here. And all this will be cleaned up and everything like that. They'll, uh, this will not look like this, uh, obviously, by the time we're done. So, uh, these will magnetically, this will magnetically lock in place on the side. And then uh, what people have to figure out is like, oh, this comes off. Uh, and then, you know, boom, 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 magic. So now I've uh, drilled three holes, one here, one here, and one here, that are slightly bigger uh, than these little tiny ring magnets that I showed you earlier that are, were on the little joystick guy here, right, those things. Uh, and then I uh, glued these down as best you can, uh, <laughs> you know. And uh, then on the inside of here, I have placed some big honking magnets uh, uh, here that were bigger than the hole itself. You can see right there, uh, place that one, that one, and that one. So what happens is now those line up with these. I had to line these up uh, pretty much using tape and stuff like that. Uh, so now you push this in, make sure everything locks in place, and now you have both of the sides in place. This one permanently attached, uh, this one magnetically attached to there. Uh, and what this, uh, so what players will have to figure out is, it's like, oh, this pops off the side, they see the hinges, they know they didn't break it, hopefully, and then they figure out the other part, which you already know, uh, about this opening up. Now, originally what I wanted to do was I wanted to have this button, because this button here pushes in, this guy here, like that. And originally I wanted to have this, where you had to push this in to make this pop off. Um, unfortunately, uh, I don't trust escape room players uh, to not destroy the mechanism that would be in here to cause that to happen. So if this was for personal use, uh, or I was having this custom made a little more strongly, uh, where I could have everything molded as one piece, everything like that, uh, then I would have done that. But I think having this here uh, is good enough. Also, this is going to be an early puzzle in the game, and I think giving people an early victory helps them build their momentum and their confidence and stuff. So this will be a fairly easy puzzle to get through for the people. Uh, and uh, now, all that's left to do is paint this, so you can't, this doesn't look like hell. Uh, paint this here, reapply the stickers and the, uh, the front, and I think this will be done. All right, finishing touches have been put on uh, this. Uh, I've painted this side here, so you can't see all the like black scorch marks that uh, I've put a, uh, back on this, so people don't think there's something you have to remove or pull off like that. Here's the red mark uh, to place the clue to place this here, like that. And uh, inside, just so people don't see how funky this looked, like with hot glue and other things, uh, I've uh, placed just another piece of stuff here, so it just looks fine on the inside. I've also tried to remove as much stuff as people might think something weird is going on here. I got rid of most of the cabling here. I'll probably pull the rest of that off. Uh, I blackened this out entirely, didn't leave anything of open, anything like that. So uh, once this opens up, people will find the prize inside. Generally, uh, they're just they when they find what they when they open something and they find what they're looking for, they generally leave it alone and set it down. They don't keep messing with it. They're like, oh, this is clearly what I need. Now, of course, that doesn't mean people won't keep messing with it, but you know how it goes. So uh, pretty much uh, the last thing to do now is place all the stickers that I had to peel off back onto here, uh, and it will be good to go. So there you have it, uh, that is the arcade cabinet puzzle box. Everything works as it should, everything comes apart, all the stickers are back on it, it looks all pretty and stuff. So uh, if you have any questions or you feel so we left out something, uh, then uh, hit us up over at youcantescapeus.com, which is for the test subjects, and uh, stay tuned for more little weirdo projects.